If you live in Bengaluru, then you might know that how frustrated you are from the regular intense traffic jams of the city. Because of the limited options, travelling from one place to another in Bengaluru is always a very difficult challenge. The Nama Metro has now expanded to over 55 km across Bengaluru, but they have hardly improved the traffic flow of the city. So BMRCL is constructing the Nama Metro Phase 2 to further improve the transportation system of Bengaluru, which I have already discussed on my detailed video about the Nama Metro Phase 2. If you want to watch that video, you can click on the i button to watch it. But whenever it comes to commute between Bengaluru city to airport, it crosses all limits. In 2008, Bengaluru got its world-class Kempegoda International Airport, which replaced the old and backdated Hindustan Airport as the city faces a massive economic boom. The new airport helps to increase the flight capacity, but the problem was that Kempegoda International Airport is far away from the Bengaluru city centre, which is about 35 to 40 kilometers of distance. With only road transport option is available to reach airport, it usually takes time between 1 hour 30 minutes to 2 hours depending on the traffic conditions, which sometimes causes the passengers to miss their flights. So to counter this problem, the BMRCL has decided to construct a metro line between Bengaluru city to Kempegoda International Airport which will be a beneficial to a lakhs of people as it will reduce the travel time to minutes, it will be much cheaper than the BMTC airport buses and most importantly passengers will be able to reach airport to catch their flight on time. And this is not a dream anymore. By mid 2025, you will see a metro running between Bengaluru city to Kempegoda International Airport. So fasten your seat belts because in this video we will have a brief discussion about the Nama Metro Blue Line which will run from Silk Board to Kempegoda International Airport. The Nama Metro Blue Line is the longest metro line of the Bengaluru Metro Network. It will run at a length of 58.1 km long from Central Silk Board in the Southern Bengaluru to Kempegoda International Airport. It will have 38 metro stations and it is expected to cost around Rs 14,788 crores which will be funded by the state and the central government as well as the certain amount of loan from Asian Development Bank and the Japan International Cooperation Agency or JICA. This line is actually a part of a Nama Metro Phase 2 project but the line itself has been divided into two phases. The first one, known as the Phase 2A, will run on a 19.2 km stretch from Central Silk Board to KR Puram with 13 stations, whereas the second one, known as the Phase 2B, will run on a 37 km stretch from KR Puram to airport with 13 stations. So now let's discuss about the alignment and the further details of the Phase 2A and Phase 2B of the Nama Metro Blue Line. The Phase 2A of the Blue Line has been kept as a priority corridor and it will be the first section of the Blue Line to be open for the public. It will have a length of 19.5 km from Central Silk Board to KR Puram and it will have a 13 metro stations, all of them will be elevated. The Phase 2A will mainly follow the outer ring road while passing through many important locations like Central Silk Board, Agara Lake, Maratha Halli, Isro, DRDO Sports Complex, etc. The Phase 2A of the Blue Line will have an interchange facility with the upcoming Yellow Line at Central Silk Board and with the Purple Line at KR Puram. The most interesting part of the Phase 2A is that the depot which will be used in this section is the existing Baya Panahali depot of the Purple Line. For that, a 2.5 km viaduct will be made to connect the Blue Line with the depot. But the problem is that the existing Purple Line uses distance to go signaling system whereas the blue line uses the CBTC signaling system which are completely different from each other. Therefore, BMRCL have a plans to remodel the Bayapana Halli depot work so that it can able to serve the blue line trains. But this will also mean that the Bayapana Halli depot will no more serving the purple line in future and it will serve only for the blue line trains. For purple line, BMRCL is constructing two new depots at Chalakatta and at Whitefield. Once Whitefield extension of the Purple Line becomes operational, all trains of the Purple Line will be shifted to the new Kadugodi Depot and then Bayapanahali Depot will be closed for remodeling process. On the other hand, the Phase 2B will be the longest part of the Nama Metro Blue Line which will run at a length of 38 km from Kiarpuram to Kempegoda International Airport. 
It will have 17 metro stations, out of which 15 stations from Kyarpuram to Dodajala will be elevated, whereas the remaining two stations at Sky Garden and Airport stations will be either partially underground or at grade. The phase 2B of the blue line will continue to follow the outer ring road from Kyarpuram to Hebbal, passing many important locations like Kasturi Nagar, HBR Layout, Nagawara, Hebbal, etc. At Nagawara, it will have an interchange facility with the under construction Pink Line Metro. And at Apple, it will have an interchange facility with the proposed Orange Metro Light and the Sarjapur Apple Corridor. From Apple, the Metro Viaduct turns right and follows the Bellary Road and then again turns right to reach airport, passing many locations like Yelahanka, Bagalur, Dodajala, etc. While following the Bellary Road, Metro will mostly run elevated but there are two sections where the Metro will run underground. One at near Jakur Flying School and another at the Yelahanka Air Force Base. As you can clearly see that the runway threshold of both airfields located very close to the Bellary Road. If the elevated Metro Rail comes up, it will hamper the operations of both airfields. So to counter this problem, the BMRCL has decided to convert a 400 meter section of the line around the Jakur Flying School from elevated to underground. Where on the other hand, the 700 meter section of the line around the Yalahanka Air Force Base will also be built underground due to national security reasons. This type of concept can be seen in the Chennai Metro Blue Line where a 300 meter section near the runway threshold were made underground. See, this is not an actual underground section, but it is used to bypass the airport funnel zone to prevent the collisions, just like the road underpasses. Therefore, the tunnels will have a depth of maximum 3 to 5 meters, so that BMRCL will use cut and cover method to reduce the construction cost. The phase 2B of the blue line will have a brand new depot on a 23 hectare government land near Shatigiri beside the trumpet junction of airport, where the blue line trains will be maintained during the night time. As per reports, 18 out of 23 hectares of land has already been acquired by BMRCL. However, the remaining 5 hectares of land is still under the legal dispute which is expected to be sought out anytime soon. Well, unlike the other metro lines, the Nama Metro Blue Line will use a unique construction method. Because unlike the other Bengaluru metro lines which uses box girders, the blue line will use the pre-cast U-shaped girders for the faster construction of the viaduct. The construction of the Phase 2A has been divided into two packages. One from Silk Boat to Kadu Bisanahalli has been awarded to AFCON's infrastructure, whereas the another from Kadu Bisanahalli to Kiarpuram has been awarded to Shankar Narayan Constructions or SNC. Where on the other hand, the construction of the Phase 2B has been divided into three packages where all three packages has been awarded to NCC Limited. Where the NCC Limited will construct the line all the way from KR Puram to airport, but the Sky Garden and airport stations will be built by the Bengaluru International Airport Limited or BIAL. The physical construction of the blue line was begun in August 2021 and as of now, the work is now in full swing in both phases. The Nama Metro Blue Line will be equipped with Communication Based Train Control or CBTC Signaling System to run the trains at a frequency of 90 seconds. And for rolling stocks, BMRCL have plans to procure 37 trains in a 6 coach configuration especially for the Blue Line which will be funded by JICA. Each train will be 2.9 meters wide and will use 750 volts DC third rail system as an electrification. Right now, Kempe Goda International Airport is building a brand new Terminal 2 which will further increase the passenger capacity of the airport. But once Terminal 2 becomes operational by the end of this year, it will create more load to the road transport. So once Metro becomes operational, it will be a huge relief for the airport passengers to reach city centre on time. And it is estimated that 3,50,000 to 4 lakh people will use the Metro on a daily basis. And in case of a deadline, the Phase 2A of the Blue Line from Silk Boat to KR Puram is expected to be operational by mid-2025 and Phase 2B from KR Puram to Airport is expected to be inaugurated by early 2026. So by 2026, you can see a metro over Outer Ring Road running between Bengaluru City Centre to Airport to make sure that the passengers will reach airport on time. That's all for today. Subscribe to the Global Transits to make news updates about the rapid transit system all across the world. Also, like and share the video so we can make aware more people about the rapid transit system 
just like this one. Have a nice day.